What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to the gym and I'm gonna hit a big fat arm day. I normally don't have arm days, separate arm days because I follow a push pull leg split at the moment. So I train my triceps with my chest and my biceps to my back days. But today we're switching it up. We're going to do a big arm day, we're going for a fat pump. And yeah, I'm excited. I haven't had a good arm day in a long time, so why not record it for YouTube? Uh, maybe I'll talk about some things that a lot of people do wrong when they're training arms. So it's gonna be a good video. First, I'm gonna have a pre-workout snack, a protein bar from XSL Nutrition. And yeah, go to the gym. Maybe take a little bit of pre-workout because I'm a little tired, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll catch you guys at the gym. I decided to not take pre-workout today, but instead I'm gonna go for this non-stimulant pump product because it's already pretty late and if I take pre-workout I can't sleep so this is a better choice. If you're interested in this, in the description. Just a little warming up, warming those biceps up because you don't want to injure yourself because when you tear your bicep, it's over. So, good warming up, maybe two or three sets with the bar only, and then slowly increasing the weight. We're gonna do four working sets uh, between eight to 10 reps, keeping it pretty heavy today. So the previous arm workout that I did on my YouTube channel was a superset workout and this workout we're going to do exercises separately because we yeah, are going heavier and taking a little bit more rest time. at the top and yeah it's just not that good so form overweight always Always make sure that you put the weights back because you're not the only one 
you need to use the weight. Understand? So the dumbbell overhead extension hits the long head of your triceps. That's the biggest part of your arm. So keep in mind, if you want to have big arms, you need to grow your triceps because your triceps make two thirds of your arm. That is a pretty big part. And the long head is the biggest part of your tricep. And you hit that part with overhead extensions, with a dumbbell, maybe a cable. You can also do single arm overhead extensions. So whatever you like. much better contraction. because it's gonna take too long and it's also kind of boring but yeah you get the idea I'm going a little heavier than my other workouts because I really want to increase my strength it just feels good to have a good arm day focus on one exercise and then move over to another so the next exercise we're going to do is a hammer curl with dumbbells I think it's also one of the best movements for your biceps but also for your forearms and if you have bigger forearms it just looks good you know it's, it looks more aesthetic and with the hammer curls you really focus more on that bicep width and the barber curl is more for that peak so now we gotta hit that width and with the hammer curls you really do that Keep your arms close to your body and don't swing too much, just like the barbacle. It's the same movement but with a different grip. So the next exercise is going to be a rope push down that is more for the this side of the tricep. With this one you want to make sure that at the bottom of the wrap you really open the rope. When you open it at the bottom 
really hit this side of the tricep. As you can see, again, we have to keep the arms close to the body for a better contraction. And that is almost with every single exercise that you do for arms. You want to keep your arms as close to your body and really squeeze at the end of every rep. So the last exercise for bicep is going to be a overhand grip, easy bar curl. That one also hits the forearms pretty good and the bicep of course. And yeah, I just really like it. With this one, you can choose to hold the bar with your thumbs over the bar, but you can also put them under the bar. And I think that when you have them under the bar, it's more bicep activation. And when you have them over the bar, it's really hard to hold on the weight for the entire set. So that's why I prefer to keep my thumbs under the bar and really focus on that bicep squeeze. My forearms are getting sore. Luckily that we only have two sets left. But as you can see, it's, it's very hard to, to squeeze my forearm because it's so sore and it's cramping. Now we're moving on to the last exercise for tricep. It's gonna be a single arm tricep push down with the cable machine. With this one, just gonna hold on to this one and make sure that you keep your arm close to your body again and only do this movement. And if you don't like to do it with a cable, you can also do it on a bench with a dumbbell and do a dumbbell tricep kick there. So that's also a pretty good one.
quick arm work for you guys. It only took me like 30, 40 minutes and we're done. Great when you're short on time and don't have a lot of time to spend in the gym. I hope you guys liked it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any videos. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.